Hello! In this video we are going to be starting off by just going over the general Photoshop interface and just a couple of basics about the application. So first of all, let's go ahead and launch Photoshop. First you'll get this splash screen and then you'll come to the Photoshop main window here. Now before I show you uh, the, the interface here, let's go ahead and just open up a new document. So I'm going to come up here to File and New. And in here is where I'd make my decisions about the document. I'd name it. I'd decide what the size of the document was, what the resolution of the document is, color mode. And then the one I want to talk about here is background contents. It's defaulting to white here. I could choose it to be the background color, which would be whatever color I have chosen in the back of my uh, color picker here, which we'll talk about in a later video. But I want to talk about transparent here. If I choose transparent, and then I click OK, I'm going to see this gray and white grid here. And that gray and white grid represents transparency. So if you ever see that when working in Photoshop, that means that that area is transparent, where a white background would mean that that area is white uh, or whatever color background, meaning that area is that color. All right, so that said, here we have our new document. Let's look around the application just a little bit. Right up here at the top, we have our control panel. Now this control panel is going to have different options in it depending on what tool I'm working with. So you'll see as we go through the different tools it will have different buttons up here that allow us to, to make controls and adjustments to those tools and, and how it acts in the particular instance. Um, we'll be using the control panel quite a bit. Now over on the right side here we have this button here This is essentials. It's a drop down list and these are actually saved workspaces. Now we're going to talk in a sec about uh, the panels, which are over here on the right. There are many, many panels and many different ways to lay those out. The Essentials uh, workspace is showing us the panels that they think are essential to be working here. But if I were to click on this and say, for example, I was working in typography, you'll see that the panels over here on the right are going to change to represent what they think would be ideal for working with typography. Now the reality of it is that you are going to be finding panels that work best for your particular jobs. Um, and if you find a setup of panels that's working really well for you, or maybe one that works with a specific client really well, or a specific type of job really well, you can actually save those workspaces. So you would bring out the panels that you wanted, come up here and click on this drop down again, say you want to have a new workspace, and then you would just name that workspace and click save and that would make it so that you could just get back to that workspace with one click at any time. All right, so let's look next at the panels. Like I said, these panels, this is the panels over here on the right. The panels have a lot of different functionalities. We're looking at the color panel, the swatches panel, the adjustments panel, the layers panel, so on and so forth. But like I said, there are a lot of panels available that are not showing here. And those panels are under the window menu. Everything from 3D down to tool presets, those are panels. And if I, for example, really needed to see the character panel, I would just click character and you'll see that it appears over here and is ready for me to use. Now panels can be reorganized, dragged around, they can be pulled off so they're floating. I can pull off and click on that in order to expand it and close it or click these two arrows to expand it permanently so it's just hanging out here by me. Lots of different things that I can do with panels to arrange them in the way that I want them to be. And we'll be learning quite a bit about different panels and, and, and different tools within those panels uh, throughout these videos.